is a video done by the third year students of Split for the subject Programming Language Design Concepts. Uh, the following are the mem uh, members of the group. Today we will be covering programming paradigms. A programming paradigm is a defined by the kind of data and procedure abstractions it support. First, let me explain what a paradigm is. A paradigm is a standard or a discipline that is followed. Therefore, a programming paradigm identifies the way the data and the procedures are supported in a language. In programming, there are many paradigms. Imperative programming languages, functional programming languages, object-oriented programming languages, and logical programming languages. In this module, we are mainly going to learn about imperative and functional programming paradigms. Let us first look at imperative programming paradigms. The most important feature are the variable, the assignment, and the sequential execution. Imperative programs have close connection between the variable and the memory locations, as well as the operation and the machine instructions. In this following example, we can see that each and every number, that is number 1 and number 2, are stored in the RAM. But the calculation carried out where the, number, the numbers are added Will be, store, will be completed in the CPU and the answer is stored again in the RAM. Therefore, there are many transfers to the RAM and to the CPU. This procedure is time consuming. Therefore, the functional paradigm was brought about to reduce the transfer time of this calculation. The following non von Neumann architecture diagram shows us the transfer between the RAM and the CPU. Uh, the transfer between the RAM and the CPU is time consuming and this architecture was brought about by a person called John von Neumann. He was the first per person to document the basic concept of stored program computers. Next let us look at the functional paradigm. The important fun uh, function of a functional paradigm is that the program are a collection of functions and there are no variables, no assignments and no iterations. The drawback that is there in the imperative uh, programming paradigm is overcome in the functional paradigm. The functional paradigm completes all its tasks in the CPU and since the CPU uh, memory capacity is higher, the transaction or the calculations are done faster and therefore the output is once at one time stored in the RAM. Since there are no transfers be done between the RAM and the CPU, the functional paradigm is, a is much more efficient than the imperative programming paradigm. In functional paradigm, paradigm some the main function is the scheme. Scheme is based mainly on mathematical concepts. The features of scheme are that it is simple, elegant and it is expressive. The basic operators in a scheme are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. If we take these two examples, the simple addition of 5 and 6 is written in a scheme in the following manner, where the operator is put first and the two values are followed. The operator plus will be placed first and 5 and 6 will be placed after, which implies that 5 will be added to 6. If we take the second example, 5 plus 4 divided by 2, the example will be written in a scheme where the division operator is placed first and the addition uh, operator is placed second. Here the input of this 5 plus 4 will be the uh, the output of 5 plus 4 will be placed as an input to the second uh, method. Now let us look at the lambda expression in scheme. Lambda was used as a function name. In early days, uh, writing, naming a function and writing a function was done separately. And all the functions were named lambda. 
each function even though the func the functionality of a function would be different it was all named under the same name it was a nameless function so these were named lambda and depending on the parameters passed the lambda function was chosen and executed if we look at this example here uh, the expression the function lambda is given the input of a single let the output of it would be x into x into x that is x cube now if we take the example given below the input will be 2 the value the x will be given the value 2 and the output of this function will be given as 8 this is what the lambda fu uh, uh, function in scheme did this was a brief introduction on programming paradigms. We hope to further study this same topic. Thank you.